Go ahead and be seated. It's Monday morning in Greenville, Ohio's criminal court. If you attempted to engage in sexual conduct with a person who was 13 years of age or older. Our investigation has concluded. Now we check on the 17 men arrested after they left our undercover house. They've been sitting in jail over the weekend waiting for a judge to set bail. Mr. Wade, they'll set bail at 7,500 cash surety of property. And are almost unrecognizable in their prison stripes. Here's the family man who made plans online to take the virginity of a 15-year-old. Did you bring anything with you tonight? Such as? Condoms. Yes, I did. His mother, a prosecutor from another county, he is, is representing him. He has absolutely no failures to appear whatsoever in any court anywhere. So we'll set bail at 2,500 cash surety or property. This is the man who made a half-hearted attempt to stab himself with a pen. He made plans online for sex with a decoy posing as a 15-year-old. You ask her if she's horny. What's wrong with that? You ask if she does anal. It's a question. I'll set 7,500 cash surety or property. And the sixth grade teacher who admitted he has a problem. You've actually seen our previous programs on computer predators. I didn't think I was a predator. In Ohio, there's also a limitation that you can't live within 1,000 feet of school. Let's set uh, bail at 2,500 cash surety or property. And the repeat offender. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm weak. I'm... I have no intentions of having sex with her. In respect to the courts, I'd ask for an OR because I'm going to jail on Thursday anyway. I think I'll ensure that you make it back to Judge Wolliver's court in Springfield. I'll set bail on 100,000 cash surety of property. Since this first court appearance, a grand jury has indicted all 17 men and charged them with attempting unlawful sexual conduct with a minor. All pleaded not guilty, except this man. No. Have you contacted a lawyer? No. Do you plan to do so? No. Alonzo Wade pleaded no contest. He was found guilty and is awaiting sentencing. For many of these men, the trip from chatting about sex online to shuffling through the criminal justice system has been a long one. A lot of thinking and planning goes into doing something like this. Robert Weiss is the clinical director of a sexual addiction treatment center in Los Angeles. He explains the thought process through the eyes of a predator. I didn't wake up one morning and say, I'm going to do this today. I woke up five months ago or five years ago and said, boy, this looks kind of good to me. And I evolved down a road of eventually landing at that door. Where are you? But Weiss says not all these potential predators are alike. Some can be treated and some cannot. The first step for the kind of men caught in our investigation, Weiss says, is to admit they are sex offenders. And that's sometimes a tall order. These guys need to say and understand that they have the potential to harm a child. Weiss has taken a particular interest in our investigations because his clinic is now treating some of the men caught in our last investigation. It was interesting watching the show and seeing guy after guy say, I'm stupid, I'm so stupid, I'm an idiot. Well, they feel stupid. They feel like idiots. But an idiot would not be able to carry out that degree of sophisticated planning and acting out. None of them are idiots. And that's the good news because in treatment, they can be challenged, their thinking can be challenged. For now, the fate of those men caught in our Ohio investigation is in the court's hands. They will be in recess. Thank you very much. But there are other sex predators in other states who are still on the loose. Took a hard look. Florida is a state with one of the highest numbers of registered sex offenders. In our next investigation, we'll head south, where we'll set up another undercover house. The setting for some very strange goings-on. It's almost like we've entered a suspected cyber predator twilight zone. You want to explain yourself? This man, for instance, he doesn't have any clothes on. Chocolate chip's my favorite. All this guy can talk about is the cookies left on the counter. Can I get you a glass of milk to go along with those cookies? Sure. This man improvises a disguise, but keeps right on talking. There ain't no, nothing going on here, dude. Nothing funny going on here. And while he's chatting through his shirt, his sister's waiting outside in the car. Is your brother? Yeah. We brought him here so he could have sex with a 13 year old. 13? But most shocking of all our Florida suspects is this man, a 42 year old father who's expecting to meet an underage boy at our house. Oh, no. He's got his child with him. None of us can believe that he's brought along his own five year old son. 
and since you have your child here, I'm not going to pursue this. I think it'd be best if you just went ahead and left. Yeah, I agree. All kinds of men, all walks of life, and they all have an excuse. I was just coming down because she said she wanted to watch a movie, and that was it. You'll see police make arrest after arrest after arrest. Please give me my son, please. Just wait till you hear their story.